Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Twin Stitches Designs Podcast. My name is Julie and I am the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today I think we are episode 21. I'm so happy as always to be coming back to you guys and uh, I have so much again to share with you. I feel like every time I say that, but you guys seriously, I think I have one, two, three, three pairs of socks, a cardigan, um, all finished, I think four hats, like it has been a crazy knitting time. So I can't wait to get into everything with you guys. I am found on Instagram and Ravelry as Julianne Knitter. I will link everything down below this video. Um, if you would like to sign up for my newsletter, you will get um, just notified of special promotions, coupon codes, and pattern releases. Again, everything is featured um, down below. I like I said, I think we are July. Oh my gosh. Let me get adjusted here. Um, I want to say like 13th. Anyways, we are Wednesday and I decided to come in podcast because it's just been too long and I'm finally feeling a little, little bit better. And I'll talk about more of that life, um, our weekend away, everything at the end of the, at the end of the episode in case that you are here for just, um, the knitting. So one thing that I did want to mention is that we have the Stash Busters Cal going on in the Ravelry group. This is a uh, year-long knit-along that I'm co-hosting with Kay, the crazy sock lady, and I'm going to be pulling some prizes. Actually, I've already pulled them and I have my notes here. So if you have entered in the Q2, um, I will put the names down below as well, but I'm going to be pulling three uh, prizes of the FO thread. And we might as well just jump right in because I know that you guys are so curious um, for that. And if you are a maker of any kind and love to donate a prize to the podcast, please send me um, either a direct message or an email at twinstitchesdesigns3 at gmail.com. So the first one is um, Knit Picks Chroma. So I'm going to be giving away um, two skeins of figuring weight yarn in the Vermont colorway. So this is Knit Picks Chroma. And it has 396 yards per 100 grams. So you can make a really nice project with that. Um, these are really, really nice. So the winner of this is post 560, who is V-O-V-S-K. Don't know what that is. Um, but yes, so you have won uh, two skeins of Chroma and as well as any pattern from my shop. So please send me a Ravelry message or an email, whatever you rather, um, letting me know that you have one. What is your uh, address? And I will get this out in the mail to you. Okay, so second prize. I decided to pick from my stash for this one. And because we are in July, I thought it'd be really fun to kind of do like Christmas in July. So the winner of this will be getting some Quanta Fibers, which is hand dyed um, by Sandra who so generously had gifted me these, but you know what? I I want to give it back to you guys, and I know I showed these off, and oh, they are gorgeous. So this one is Vintage Christmas, and this one is Peppermint Bark Speckle. Look at those amazing speckles. So this is under 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon, and it is 430 yards per 100 grams. So you could do some really fun socks with these um, and they'd be absolutely amazing. So the winner of this one is post 629 who is peanut 15. So again you have won uh, these two skeins and any pattern from my shop. Send me an email or a Ravelry message letting me know you've seen this and um, what is your address and I will get those out to the mail to you as well. And the third and final prize um, is going to be this fun hand dyed yarn. So this is from Harbor Fibers in her Diving Deep. So this is a fun um, sock kit, really beautiful colors. And you will be also getting a skein of um, Regia Perfect socks. This was donated um, to the podcast as well. So I'm gonna be giving away these fun um, pink and white stripes, really beautiful, beautiful. So the post, um, it is post 318, who is Phoenix Fire. Again, you have won um, two skeins as well as any pattern from my shop. So send me all a either an email, and I'll put my email down below, 
or a message on Ravelry letting me know you've all seen this, what your address is, and do not forget to go post in the Ravelry group and um, go post and chat. And also um, on Instagram, you can use the hashtag and we love seeing those. I'm just gonna advance my couch. I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. Okay, that feels a little bit better. I feel more close up and personal. Um, all right, I am looking down at my show notes if I'm missing anything. Okay, first and foremost, I am wearing um, a new tea pattern that's actually coming out next week. And I figured I'd wear it again to show off to you guys. Um, so if you are interested in this tea, definitely sign up for my newsletter. You'll get a special coupon code. But I knit this out of um, Ottoman Indigo on her fingering weight base, and it is in the colorway Herb. It is a simple top-down yoke lace um, sweater all around, really fun, um, full length. I absolutely love it, and it's knit at a loose gauge, so you see how like drapey and beautiful it is. It knits up so quick. I want to say that I knit it up on a US 7 at fingering weight yarn. So it's so much fun and I, I love it. So that pattern is coming out on Tuesday. Um, so get a look out for that one. All right. I do 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 my cardigan pattern. Oh my God, my first FO, <gasps> you guys. All right. The last, I'm going to show off the two projects that I had on the last po podcast because of course I finished them. You guys know I have to finish things. Um, so this cardigan, I had split I had split for the sleeves I think I'm trying to remember so I'm calling this my sand is it I'm not sure if I called it sand and ocean or ocean and sand cardigan but it's done I'll plop a photo up here of um, a better photo of me wearing it so you can see but um, I absolutely love how it turned out I knit this top down on US 9 and it is a DK weight it is in Tola Mata Yarns in her ALS, which is 50% baby alpaca, 25% silk, 25% linen. And at this loose gauge, it is just so flowy and beautiful. The main color is Winter Rose. And um, the contrast color is fun color block on the bottom. Um, is steep, step, steep. Not really sure how you pronounce that. So yeah, absolutely love it. Step, step. So it's like a fun three-quarter length sleeve um, with just like kind of like a rolled hem. There are no buttons. It's meant to be like an open front cardigan, really meant to be over dresses, over anything, and it's just really comfy, cozy. You throw it on um, between, between seasons. So this pattern is currently out to test knitters, and this one is going to be coming out at the end of August. So I'm really excited about that one. Um, I want to say it's like August 28th or 21st, around that time that this pattern is going to be going live. I did finish it before um, our travels, so I had mentioned on the last podcast that I wanted to finish both the cardigan and my pair of socks before we went away, and I did because I was able to take photos of both this um, pattern and this one on our vacation, which just made my life so much easier to finish this. Um... I knit this on the Knit Picks Needles interchangeable set, which I'm obsessed with and I love it. They are amazing. I knit the entire sweater and pretty much everything that I'm knitting now, if it's not socks, it is on um, that interchangeable needle set. I really do love it, so really excited. Um, yeah, I think, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to let you guys know. And it uses not a ton of yarn. Uh, for my size, like for, for the, it's ridiculous the amount of um, yarn that you use for the sweater because it's lit, knit at such a loose gauge, um, you can really, it is, um, it's it's a more affordable um, cardigan. So yeah, I'm so excited for that pattern. Okay, throw that over here. I'm just gonna grab some water, so give me a second. Okay, I'm back. The second thing that you guys had seen that I had finished or that I was working on was my Knit Pick Static Socks. So these were in um, the colorway Peppercorn, and I knit these on a 2.25 millimeter needle with um, the Static Sock in Peppercorn, and then I used um, Knit Picks Hawthorne Midwinter for the heels and the toes, and uh, I couldn't be happier with this. I literally just knit plain vanilla. I cast on 60 stitches and did a two by two rib. I am obsessed with how they turned out. 
I will link this yarn below. You need to grab some. It's amazing. Really amazing. I love how it's self-patterning. Um, I didn't do any changes. This is the yarn itself and the repeats are extremely long. So if you see here, this is where the first repeat starts and it's only repeating again all the way over here. So I'm almost at the toe. And I did these um, seven and a half inches before I started the heels. I did a German short row um, garter heel because that my husband loves it. And I wanted something a little bit different. I've been doing a lot of heel flapping gussets, so I am couldn't be happier. So I did end up finishing this pair of socks. Um, on that Friday, I didn't have a ton of time knitting because we were like packing everything up and organizing. So I did finish these by Saturday. And we were gone um, Friday night and Saturday night. So I finished these by Saturday, which I was really, really happy. But I do need another um, pair of static socks on the needles. And I'm thinking... You see it, you see them around here. That's that's my yarn stash. And you see them, they're around here. Ooh, do, do, other way, do, other. there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely um, absolutely in love, in love with this. So this, oh, I have a skein here, let me. This is the Colorway Peppercorn. And I, they have so much yardage because like I said, I knit these seven and a half inches and then a full men's sock. My husband is about a US nine, nine and a half ish. And I still have this much left, which is crazy. And I just literally used a tiny bit of the midwinter. Um, midwinter is in a Hawthorne base a kettle dye, which is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, I just paired these two together and found they went really, really well and loved, um, I love sometimes putting different heels and toes and I just find it's really fun and interesting. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm totally going to put a photo on my Instagram stories about the setup that I'm in right now because it is hilarious. I have my phone hooked up to a toy and then I have my like ring light over there. It is absolutely flipping hilarious um, if you were to see this right now. Okay, the second up is, I had told you that I was going to bring some yarn on um, on my vacation, and I was going to knit up and potentially design a new pair of socks, and I did just that. I knit up, and I actually um, finished one sock completely there and cast on something else, and I literally just, just bound them off tonight. So they don't have a name, they don't have anything, but this is a new pair of socks, and I love them. So this one was designed with Knit Pick Stroll Tweed in the Lavender Fields colorway. And um, I have some fun striping going on. So this one is Capret, um, Superwash Capretta in the Pinot colorway. And then this one is Stroll in Jack, Jack Rabbit. Yeah. Really beautiful. So this, I don't know when this pattern is going to be coming out, but I just knit them up and I just had fun. I literally just started striping and then did the other one, but I absolutely love them. So yeah, we were sitting, I remember, on a balcony um, at the cottage that we were at, and I was just like striping, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to continue. And then I kind of looked down, and I'm like, uh, okay, I want this one, and then I want this. So I really just kind of designed on the fly, which is not something I do very often, but it was really refreshing and nice, and just I picked up my needles and went. I did knit these on a 2.25 millimeter needle and I knit about, I would say, five, five and a half inches um, before starting the heel, um, heel flap and gusset, and then my toe. My heel and toe pattern is always the same pretty much in almost all my um, sock patterns, except for my Candy Mountain, which is a cut in heel afterthought. But, um, and even in my free patterns, I do have a, a few free patterns of socks you'll find the recipe um, that I use for heels and toes in there as well. So if you ever you're interested. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. And like I said, I literally just finished them tonight. I haven't even finished weaving in all the ends. But I really do love how they turned out. They are gorgeous. Um, Knit Pick Stroll Tweed is one of my all-time favorite sock yarns. It just, it knits up beautifully. It's so ridiculously soft. I have a sweater out of it. And I, I just, I love it so much. So 
Sorry, my throat's a little dry. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. Love how these turned out. All right, you guys, are you ready? Still have another FO. This one is another pair of socks, and I'm going to go down for the wheel. So I knit these out of um, Knit Picks Hawthorne Reels. This is a new um, new yarn for Knit Picks. So it is in the base of Hawthorne. So if you are familiar with the Hawthorne base, it is knit. It is a knitted blank of, of a tube. Let me show you. It's just all like I'm just trying to put it back up all nice and again for you guys. So you can see the real the real look of it. Oh my god, I'm just making it worse. I'm trying. I'm trying, you guys. Okay. It's as good as it's gonna get. So this is the Hawthorne um, sock reels. There, there we go. And this one is the in the road trip stripe. I knit, um, and this one is the exact same base, like I said, as Hawthorne. So it's 357 yards per 100 grams. It is a 80% fine superwash merino wool, 20% nylon. So it comes in this knitted tube, and you literally just pull from here and knit it. And that's exactly what I did for this pair of socks. I knit directly from the tube, and it was so much fun. I really, really loved it. And this is how they turned out. L how much fun are these? I mean, come on, you guys. I decided to use my hub, husband, hub, hu, husband's favorite pattern, which is a free pattern on Ravelry that I'll link down below um, of one of mine. And I decided to also use Midwinter. Mid, oh my God, I can't talk. Maybe that'll help. Midwinter for the heels and toes. And I absolutely love how they turned out. Um, I did have to cut out a little bit of the gray because the uh, these are going to be gift socks for Christmas. The recipient is super, um, wants them matching, matching, matching. So I just had to cut out a little bit of gray. And I will say that I didn't have anything left of, over of these. Um, it is smaller yardage than static. Static has over 400 yards and this one only has 300. So it does make a difference depending on your recipient and how long um, you want your cuffs. So keep that in mind. Um, like I said, I used Midwinter, and I think it just it gives it that cute effect. But this is my pattern, husband's favorite. Again, free on Ravelry if you are interested. Really love how it. I mean, this pattern goes with anything. Um, goes with any self striping patterning. Really, really fun. So. Yeah, so I decided to knit these up during my vacation as well and um, finish them up after. And you guys, you need to get some. Um, they are on sale right now. They are normally $20 and they are on sale for $15.99 because they are going out. So if you like this one, I will link it down below for you. Um, grab it right away. If I hope it's still available if you want it. I did check and they still had all the colors available. Um, but I'm not sure right now when you're watching if they are, but they were on sale when I, um, did this video. I'm just, I'm so in love with them. I really do. Okay. That is it for my, F no, no, I still have four hats. All right. So I do have another finished object, but I can't share it with you guys really. Um, but I knit four hats. Uh, it is something, it, oh, oh, you got a sneak peek wasn't supposed to do that. I knit them um, this week and I am going to be sharing all the details maybe in about another week or two so it won't be too long but it's all coming out in August and it's going to be a super super fun um, series-ish I, and I can't, I can't, I'm so excited about them. I finished them up and it is going to be, like I said, coming out in August. So you guys just have to wait for that and check out my Instagram and maybe I'll post a fun sneak peek there. Okay. Do I have the pattern? All right. I don't have them with me. Um, but I released a new pattern, which is, um, his morning cup of coffee. 
and I will post a photo right up here. So this one was knit out of Fruitful Fusion in uh, the Coffee Stains colorway, and it is now available on Ravelry. So if you are interested in purchasing that pattern, you, you um, can grab it now. It is part of my men's collection, which just means that I design it with men in mind, so not too many um, lacy or things like that. It's just more kind of geared towards men. So you can go grab that if you would like. Um, I don't have it with me. They're upstairs and my twins are sleeping, so I really don't want to go upstairs and grab that right now. Okay, you guys, that is all the FOs. Oh yeah, and that, um, yeah, yeah, that's all the FOs. That is a lot. That is a lot of stuff. That's three pairs, three pairs of socks, a cardigan, four hats. Like, it is ridiculous. Okay. My first, my first project that I'm working on is a baby blanket or a toddler blanket for the girls. I am knitting this out of Knit Picks Mighty Stitch. I had to skein these up. They, they come in balls right here. Actually, let me grab one for you. Okay, so this is the Knit Picks Mighty Stitch. And they come in these. And you may wonder why mine are in balls. It is because, or I wound them, because my twins got to my project and I need, they, it, the yarn was all over the place so I needed to wind them up to have them clean again because it was crazy. Um, it is a new design that I'm going to be coming out with and it is paired with cream and fairy tale. So I'm marling these together to create a really fun blanket. So I had not cast this on or received the yarn before you guys, um, before I podcasted. So. Da, 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 da. I am about 15, 16 inches. And I'm going to be doing, I'm about a, about a quarter. A little bit more than a quarter. I am knitting these um, on my Knit Picks Interchangeable, and I'm doing a US 13, which is a 9 millimeter needle. These did not come in the set, but you can um, purchase those separately to add on to it because all of your cords are interchangeable with um, needles, and you can buy extra needles, extra cords from Knit Picks. It's really, really nice. So, yeah, I am loving it. It is so ridiculously soft, like so squishy and soft. I. I'm so excited. My plan is to knit one blanket with the pink and then one blanket with that blue, which is Marina, and also marling it with the cream. And potentially, so, okay, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I finished um, The Little Giraffe by Susan B. Anderson. Absolutely loved it, and I, I need to make more stuffies. So what I'm thinking of doing is knitting both of these blankets, and then I'm also going to be knitting the um, Christopher Bunny from uh, Susan B. Anderson. So if I make the, the bunny, then the two blankets, I think I want to give it to the girls at the same time. So they have like the blankets with a stuffy. I'm probably planning for like Christmas to give them. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's my plan is to finish these two blankets um, with the stuffy. And I think that that would be really fun uh, for them to receive it. So yeah. I'm hoping uh, by the next podcast that this blanket is done and off my needles. That is my goal within the next few days to actually get it done and off the needles. I, I know that's a lot, but it's knit double and on a bigger needle. I don't want to show too much of the pattern because it is going to be coming out. But yeah, I'm really loving it. Super simple, mindless, um, potato chippy. You can really knit it anywhere. Absolutely love those types of patterns put that down. I don't actually have a ton of whips at the moment because I just finished that pair of socks earlier. Um, to do. Is that my only? Oh my gosh, that is my only whip is the blanket. Yeah, my only whip is the blanket because I'm knitting something that's super top secret that I can't share, even the yarn I can't even share, um, that I can show it. That is it. All right, so let me share with you guys some fun ideas of what my next projects are going to be. I got this fun um, mini skein set. 
from Knit Picks, and it is going to be a sock pattern. So I'm, it's the Spring Fields sock set. And then I got a fun matching uh, stroll tonal. So this is in their stroll tonal mini packs, which is five 20 gram minis of a uh, total of 462 yards. So in this sock set, you have pearlescent, eucalyptus, cold stream, mountain pass, and evergreen as the colors. And then this is the eucalyptus. So this, the second one here, this is the full skein of it. So this is going to be a fun sock pattern um, that I'm going to be designing. And I'm going to be designing them in a few of the um, stroll mini packs. Actually, here you see all the colors. So I'm really, really, really excited about this. So this is going to be on my needles very, very, very soon. I don't know if they're going to be um, done or cast on by the next podcast because I really want to get done that blanket. But they should be. Yeah, they should be. So yeah. That is going to be on my needles very, very soon. Um, I am planning on casting on a sweater. So if you see the yarn right up here, um, I am planning on casting on two sweaters. One is going to be out of Coast to Coast yarn, which is right here. Let me grab it. Give me a moment. All right. So my next um, sweater, and I am currently drafting up all the ideas, is out of this Coast to Coast yarn which is stunning. It is going to be a fun colorwork yoke um, pattern. This is in her DK weight yarn. And uh, this is in rust, which is going to be the main color. So I grabbed three of those. And I have two more up there if I need them, but I just wanted to grab three for you guys. This is in her cabaret. And then depression glass. Look at these together. They're going to be so perfect. I'm really excited. So yeah, I charted out the design. I sketched it out. I charted it out. And now I just need to do, obviously, cake them up, get my gauge swatch and everything going. I'm hoping to do that very, very soon. Um, but I did sketch out my idea and I have it all figured out. I know what I want it to look like. I have the final idea in my head. But now it's doing all the math and figuring all of that out. But this is going to be on my noodles extremely soon. I just want to hug the yarn all day. Can I just sit here and hug yarn all day? Somebody, my husband can take care of the girls. I'll just sit here with yarn. Okay. You should see the mess on my floor right now. It is ridiculous. But that is okay. Because I am having fun with you guys. Okay. That is everything. That is all that I'm working on. I know that I don't have a ton of whips just because I'm finishing everything and I'm trying to get things done before I cast more on. That really is my personality that I, I hate having a lot of projects on the go. I really do like focusing on two to three of them, finishing them off. So that's why you see a lot of FOs on my podcast, I find, is because that I'm only focusing on two, three of them. It gives me crazy anxiety to cast on a ton of projects and nothing's getting done. It just drives me bonkers and I can't do it. So if you're here for only knitting, um, thank you so much for checking out the podcast. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you next time. And if you are here for all that's been going on, um, so the last that we spoke, I was leaving for a fun little weekend getaway with my husband, which was amazing, and we just took a um, kind of a cottage cabin about a half hour from home, so still in our province, and uh, trust me, it was, it was social distancing. We weren't close to anybody, and we literally... Um, just stayed in the cabin and then we was close to a beach so we just went there sat on the beach read books and I knitted and we just relaxed away from everybody which was amazing I um, the only issue was that I started getting a really bad cough and it was getting worse on vacation and all of a sudden on that Saturday it was out of control and I didn't know what was going on so we I thought it was my asthma, so I had, I had um, asked the doctor for some pumps, puffers, before we went on vacation, but then it was just getting worse. So I called the doctor again when we got back, and uh, they thought that my puffers weren't strong enough, so they gave me more puffers and more medication. And then it still wasn't going away, so that's why I haven't been doing a podcast, because my I couldn't even speak um, without coughing all the time. So then... I got off of that medication, finished it, and then it was still wasn't, and I went to the doctor this past few days, and she said that, um, this weekend, and I have bronchitis, 
So that is why that none of my puffers were working. Um, it's because I wasn't having the right medication for it. So finally, um, I got the right meds and it is getting so much better. So I am able to sit down and finally videotape some videos for you guys because trust me, it was not, it would not have been pleasant for me to videotape and like cut out every two seconds of me like coughing up a storm. So yeah, finally, um, it is getting a lot better and I'm hoping in the next few days it'll finally clear up but I've had this cough for about a month and a half ish and it just really peaked bad during our vacation so thankfully you know what we didn't have anywhere to go we didn't have anywhere to do so it was just really fun and relaxing and it didn't really matter that I had a bad, bad cough it was just relaxing away and um, we had ordered some fun meal kits so we got to just sit down and cook together, have a little bit of wine, um, and it was just so nice. So nice. I would do it again any weekend. It was just amazing. I obviously missed my babies, but um, as a stay-at-home mom full-time, I needed to get away. <laughs> I love them, but I needed to miss them a little bit. So except for that, um, we've been... Oh my gosh, I can't wait to tell you guys. I ordered a desk today for my business. So I've been wanting to get more organized and I'm doing a lot of computer work, a lot more grading, a lot more um, sweaters and um, editing, video editing and doing more fun things for you guys. So I decided to order a fun, um, I ordered myself some cubes and a desk from Ikea today. It's only arriving in a month, but this is like my first big purchase for my business, except for my laptop. And I can't wait. I, I, I can't wait. I even ordered, um, I think it's Skidar, the company. Anyways, it's those like white walls that has like all the dots and you can like put things and hang things. I ordered like two little things so I could put them over my desk and hang. Oh, I'm gonna live in that office. I really wanted a space dedicated to Twin Stitches Designs. I really wanted that place to, for me to go and work and spend a few hours every weekends and at night. Um, right now, like some nights, I'm actually staying up till 10 o'clock at night because I just have so much work to do um, and things. So I'm really trying to get on top of everything. And I just find that if I can have a dedicated workspace, it will help me a lot in the long run to being more organized and um, really being able to sit down and focus. Because at the moment, I mean, I have a laptop and I'm just if I'm outside with the girls, I'll be on my laptop or if I'm, you know, on the kitchen table standing. So it's not, it's not really that time that I need to take away and say, okay, you know, from this time to this time, it is business hours for me um, that I take and really make sure that I do all of the administrative things. So I'm so excited about that. I, I, I can't wait. And I promise to take photos and I might give you a little tour um, when it's all set and done. I just still need a chair. I ordered like a fun little bookcase to put on the side so I have some cubes that are going to go in there so I can have like all of my um, designing books and um, things that I'm working on and then I have my desk but I still need to get a chair. So that'll wait for a little bit. The desk and the bookcase was more important. I can just use whatever chair I have. I really like a chair. I don't want to order online because I'm short. I'm only five feet. I know. Um, so I need a chair that'll really fit me well and uh, give me enough back support as well to kind of scooch me, you know, because right now like this is down here and I'm up here because I'm so short. Um, yeah, that's really the exciting news is I ordered myself a fun little office. So we're just going to put that in the basement and I'm going to have a corner to myself that it's, it's just going to, it's really going to help. I think it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to organize everything. And then I'll need some like fun, I'll need some fun, like, um, things to put on my shelf, like crafting things or, um, I don't know. I'll need some fun little knickknacks to put around. I'll have to look around for that, like signs and, um, little baskets, oh, little baskets, like cute, like little ba I can put some yarn in it. Oh, I can't wait. I'm really excited for that. Um, so yeah, I think that is about it. We've been doing really good except for that and um, about uh, the cough. And yeah, I think I think that's about it. I 
yeah trying to think. I'm doing a lot of behind the scenes. Um, I always say that, but it's really true. I've had a um, huge 50% off sale. Did I podcast before then? I think so. I think you've seen it. And uh, yeah, so thank you anybody who ever shops my sales. It really, I really, really appreciate it. And my pattern releases just means the world to me, um, as always. So I think I'll leave it there. I think I'm rambling enough. And uh, I'm going to go relax, watch TV, and then knit on this blanket because it needs to get done. And um, I will hopefully come to you guys again very, very soon. And as always, everyone, happy knitting. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.